Comforting Cadence, written by Lucky Seven. Princess Cadence wasn't the type of pony to pout. Rather, she preferred facing her problems head on, grab the bull by the horns, as it were. And yet, here she was, her face stuffed into her pillow. It had been a few days since she'd been called useless by one of her subjects, but she hadn't moved away from that pillow unless she'd had to. It didn't help that shining armor was off in Canterlot on business, leaving her completely alone to run an empire that apparently found her to be useless. No, that wasn't fair. Just because one pony had called her useless didn't mean that. Every pony thought she was, right? Thankfully, before her thoughts could spiral any further downwards, she heard a gentle rapping on her door. Cadence, are you in there? Huh? That voice sounded an awful lot like, Auntie. May I come in, Cadence? Cadence stayed silent for a moment, mulling over her options. On the one hoof, she could simply turn away Celestia like she had everyone else thus far. On the other hoof, this was Celestia, her loving aunt, who had raised her like her own kin. Never before had an answer seemed so clear to the young Alicorn. Come in. The door to her bedroom creaked open. Finally, she picked her head up from that pillow. If only to see the look on Celestia's face. To her utter shock, her aunt's expression conveyed anything but disappointment. In fact, she almost looked sad. When Luna told me what was troubling you, I thought it best to journey here myself. Luna, how did she knows? My sister peered into your dreams and saw the state you were in. She was worried, to say the least. Her tone carried a hint of motherliness to it, and suddenly, Cadence didn't feel alone. I hear that you've entrusted some burst with Flurry Heart. Cadence nodded, wiping a bit of snot away from her snout. She took a quick second to glance back at her pillow. It was soaked in tears, and she looked back to Celestia. Y- yeah. He's been a good chrysler. Celestia simply smiled, and yet that was enough to make Cadence sigh. <sighs> Go ahead, Auntie. I know you didn't come here just to talk about my daughter. Tell me how childish I'm being. Childish? <laughs> you are many things, Cadence, but childish has never been one of them. Even as a little filly. You were more mature than most ponies. A lot of good that did me. Cadence responded with a roll of her eyes, her gaze drifting downwards. I can't even keep my emotions in check. You have every right to be upset, Cadence. Cadence felt a soft thud to her right, and she looked up to see Celestia sitting next to her. There is no shame in letting your emotions out every once in a while. There is when you bottle them up inside for too long, and they all come out at once. Besides, what good is a ruler that's useless? None of that. Cadence could feel Celestia wrapping a wing around her, and the much larger Alicorn pulled her in close. Have you already forgotten what made the crystal ponies love you? Cadence remained silent, looking up at her aunt. You care about your subjects, Cadence. That's more than one can say for most rulers. Celestia smiled, nuzzling her niece. And you are certainly not useless for doing so. I'm sure it's easy for you to say that. No pony has ever called you useless. Celestia craned her neck back, opting to look down at Cadence with a bewildered expression on her face. <laughs> Still, she giggled, that cute motherly giggle that Cadence had come to love over the years. Have you ever attended one of my royal courts, Cadence? 
No. You may find it hard to believe, but I have been called useless on many occasions, whether it be a noble pony that is unhappy with their taxes, or a simple street pony that believes I will grant them a loan from the royal treasury. It has happened. Cadence found herself taken aback by that. Even Celestia had been called useless. Was such a thing even possible? But, but, how do you handle it? Celestia smiled. The duties of a ruler do not entail making every one of your subjects like you, Cadence. If anything, being loved by your subjects is more for reward than it is a prerequisite for being a good leader. Cadence frowned. You always taught me that a good ruler keeps their subjects happy. All of their subjects. That is true. Celestia nodded. For a moment, it seemed as if she was debating over what to say next. Much to the younger Alcorn's chagrin, her next words only reinforced the point she was trying to make. But just because some pony is happy with their life does not mean that they will love the ones that make that life possible. Do you truly believe that the dragons all loved Dragon Lord Torch? Not really. But from what I've heard, he basically let them do whatever they wanted to. To an extent, which can be said of any ruler that isn't a dictator. You have done a wonderful job returning the Crystal Empire to its former glory. One pony thinking otherwise does not change that fact. Do you remember what I told you when you were just a filly? You told me that the mark of a great ruler is not to be loved by all, but to love even those who don't like you. Tell me, do you hate the pony who called you useless? No. Cadence looked up to Celestia, a little smile on her face. I care for all my subjects, even her. I'm glad to hear it. Cadence took the opportunity to nuzzle into the crook of her aunt's neck. Hey, auntie? Yes? Could you stay here for just a bit longer? Of course. Celestia smiled. <laughs>